How's it going, YouTube? AMC guy back at it again. Today we got my next vehicle. This one is for sale. It's a 1968 AMC Ambassador. Four-door sedan. Two-owner car, myself included. This vehicle. Um, don't mind that price tag. That's not actually what we're going to sell it for. This vehicle was my old Scoutmaster's, and uh, it was also his, uh, that's his vehicle he used when he was the mayor of the town I grew up in. Before he became the mayor, he was a military man. This vehicle was on the base with him. And back in the 1970s, it was a base vehicle. You see it around the base. It's a very, very basic interior. Try to get the lighting. There we go. A lot of glare up this hood. Very, very base model vehicle. It is a factory AC car. And the AC does work. Back seats. Really, really beautiful car. I've got photos when I first found this thing and pulled it out of his barn. It was in rough shape. Well, Put those in here, probably right about now. I think it has 106,000 original miles. He uh, did take good care of it. We replaced the master cylinder some stuff in like a starter. Um, I cleaned it up. Oil changes every couple thousand miles and he did have the head gaskets replaced at like 100,000. Or probably just before that, probably around like 60,000 or something like that. He was a very, very meticulous kind of guy. Really, really liked to take care of his vehicles. So everything was done according to the book. In this glove box here, we'll find some dealership paperwork. I mean, honestly, this is so out of date now. I don't think the name and address are going to matter too much. Just uh, don't bother that address. This is the original dealership. Bought in 1968. Owner's manual. And here we've got the options in the catalog. It's actually kind of interesting. Uh, let me grab the keys. It still has the dealership sticker or a dealership plate on the back. How often do you see that, man? That's something special right there. Inside, got my tools, clean supplies. Nice spare tire, beautifully kept and restored. Trunk's a little worse for wear. Check this out. Even the light for the trunk lift Still illuminates when you close it up still turns off isn't that crazy a car that's 50 years old and it still has almost everything working and by everything I mean almost everything save for the radio and like 
one other electronic item. This thing still runs and has almost everything working. This is what I always try to talk about when I talk about looking for that classic unadulterated vehicle. This is one of those classic unadulterated vehicles right here. Passenger door still closes just fine. There is little cosmetics here and there. I think that rear quarter has some little dings in it, you know. Original paint. He drove it. He drove it every day. We've done some stuff with the suspension. Changed some bushings, changed some shocks. Um, Grease tie rods. Little things. We basically kept everything numbers matching on the car. Everything is numbers matching. And we don't plan to do anything with the car anymore, but sell it. So feel free to drop an email. Um, I'll get a little clip of it driving around too. We drive it. I drive to this college almost every day. I love this thing. But I got too many other projects. You've seen my channel. I got some big plans to show you guys over in that back corner over there involving that uh, I mean, a little block and that little blower over there. So to fund that project, something's gotta go. That's gonna be this car. I think it'd be a great cruiser, maybe a period piece. You could do it up like a secret service vehicle or like another DOD vehicle. It's got that white paint, that base model interior. Maybe make it like an undercover cop car. I think it'd be cool. Um, I wish there was more history, but even on the Planet Houston AMC forums, they never kept a record of what vehicles were used in the DOD and which ones weren't. Um, but we just have those stickers in the dash and on the bumpers to go off of and a few other things he had. He had some paperwork for it um, for when he was still in active service back in 1976 or 77, I believe. That's when he was in the Air Force. Um, these vehicles were known to be used in the military and in other government works. I would not be surprised if this is one of those vehicles. That being said, even if it's not, it's a great, great example. And it's probably one of the last remaining survivors of AMC from this time period. Everyone has Javelins, everyone has AMXs, everyone's got Rebels, but uh, there aren't very, very many of these lesser known ones ambassadors lying around. These cars are, this is probably the last one in this condition in the United States. If you save for like one in a private collection somewhere, this is probably the last one driving and running on the streets this very day. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'd be happy to take you more through the vehicle and uh, take you for a drive.